Callisto Protocol is an intense survival horror experience powered by some of the minds behind Dead Space. Thus, players can look forward to another terrifying franchise that could lead to further entries. The events of the Callisto Protocol will have a huge impact on any sequels and potential future content. This has been discussed by the developers. If you haven't had time to play the new horror game from the team at Striking Distance Studios, we've covered the entire story, explaining how the Callisto Protocol ends. It goes without saying that this guide contains spoilers, and if you don't want to know what happens in the game, turn back now. What happened in the Callisto Protocol? Plot explanation. Jacob Lee and his friend Max are cargo contractors tasked with transporting objects from Jupiter's moon Europa to the nearby moon Callisto. They are intercepted by a group called heretics and Jacob's ship eventually crashes. As a result, Max died in a plane crash, and Jacob and Danny Nakamura, a member of the heretic organization, were captured by Captain Ferris of the Black Iron Prison and sent there. There, Jacob escapes from an outbreak of disease and befriends a cellmate named Elias. Thanks to his lengthy prison sentence, Elias uses his knowledge of the facility to guide Jacob on a walk through the entire facility. Facing many obstacles along the way, Jacob and Elias are able to meet, suit up, leave the facility facility and attempt to break through the surface of Callisto. However, an accident during the ensuing escape nearly cost Jacob his life, and he eventually found Elias, whose suit had been torn apart by circumstances beyond Callisto's control. Meanwhile, Danny finds Jacob and refuses to go with him, seeing him as untrustworthy, but says he'll meet him at a nearby hangar. Once there, they find transport to the ship that will take them from the moon, but on the way they find Jacob's ship crashed. She discovers the true burden that Jacob and Max carry and cools their animosity when she realizes that Jacob doesn't really know what he and Max are selling. Just as they were about to escape, Iron Warden Cole appeared and destroyed the ship, separating Jacob and Danny. After driving around the area and passing through Midtown, the two found each other and eventually encountered Captain Ferris, who was presumed dead after being attacked by the creatures. Now he is a bigger, stronger and stranger version of his former self and is fighting against Jacob. After stopping him, Jacob flees, but Danny is attacked by a parasite and becomes infected with the disease. The couple moved on and went to the main testing site where they found Dr. Caitlin Mahler, the woman who inserted the black iron file into Jacob and Danny. She gives Danny an inhibitor to stop the spread, but says the only cure is to defeat Warden Cole's alpha monster and extract the antidote from it. The end of Callisto Protocol explained. Jacob tracks down Cole, and the Warden explains that the Callisto Protocol was an experiment to recreate the original Alpha, who died because he wanted to further the evolution of humanity. He basically did his experiments on infected larvae in the Iron Prison, and in Europe, which we learn led to the deaths of Danny's siblings. Jacob battles Warden Cole's new Alpha, Captain Ferris, and after a brief melee, Ferris realizes his true potential and transforms into a gigantic monster. Cole challenges Jacob to face the new generation of Alphas to see which race will come out on top. Jacob is able to knock Ferris down, get the antidote, and heal Danny. In retaliation, Danny shoots Cole, but it's only a hologram and Cole lets the Earth self-destruct. Jacob and Danny find an escape pod, but only one remains, and Jacob forces Danny into it, claiming that he belongs there and can't forgive himself for accidentally bringing the virus to Callisto. When Danny's escape pod takes off, Jacob is surrounded by monsters and sacrifices himself. As her and Jacob's minds tangled through the chips, she had to think about Jacob's actions, both knowing the full extent of the other's past and the connection to everything that had happened. Returning to Callisto, Jacob successfully defeats the monster Dr. Mahler's hologram appears and says there may be a way out. As she says Ferris's face appears and yells at Jacob, but now in his pre-alpha form. The reveal of the finale nicely sets up the content of the upcoming Callisto Protocol season passes and raises some questions. What happened to Danny? Or Jacob and Dr. Mahler survives? Where is Warden Cole and what are his future plans? Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and support my channel.